Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, last week, I posted a video that showed, um, I posted about, or I put about, I don't know, I'd say probably two two to four pounds of uh, veggie scraps in here. This is from today. I forgot to do a follow-up video before I threw all that in there, so I just pushed it all to one side. But um, under here is basically where I had all the uh, veggie scraps, um, just piles of it. And uh, as you guys can see, I mean, there's some stuff still in there. Like these seeds, that's from from this pile. Um, but here's a bell pepper. And I mean, that was a round slice. They ate it almost entirely. So um, there was grass clippings and everything on this side. So let's dig at it just a little, just to see how far down they've gotten. <clears throat> Those two are from today. Oh. Okay, so, so you can still see scraps like this thing here. That's from uh, squash that my wife ate. But as you can see, you dig down just a little, and you start to see just soil. They don't like apples. <laughs> well, actually, they do. They're eating it, but they're eating it slowly. Once I introduced all that other stuff, I'm going to take that out. Once I introduced all that other stuff, I think they ditched the apple. So... But yeah, the only thing that's really left is the squash um, outer casing um, and some pieces of bell pepper. Like that one's <clears throat> that one's definitely old. So, but anyway, they're doing really uh, a really efficient job of uh, digging or uh, eating all this stuff. Like here's one right here. They're just right under the surface. See, there's another one down there. Chickens love these things too. I mean, uh, and careful, they got some pinchers on them. They will bite you. Um, but don't be afraid. I mean, all the biting's there and they're super slow. See, he's trying to he's trying to bite me already. <laughs> so anyway, you just take these when they're done breaking down all the veggie scraps. You take them uh, and you, I put this whole bucket in there so that they can dig through it uh, and over time get all the worms. Otherwise, you dump this thing out and I mean, you'll have worm all over the place and your chickens will be super stuffed which is kind of funny to see but I don't know do you think they like it <laughs> all right let's give them this one I'm just gonna drop it here we go ready ready here we go too big to go through the holes You gotta eat it. You gotta eat it. Someone's gonna get it from you. Hurry up. You gotta eat it. <clears throat> oh, oh. Getting it down? Getting it down? No. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, you got it. Was that good? <laughs> and then they start begging. So, even though they're standing on a grazing frame. So, anyways, uh, these worms are really, or these grubs are really easy to raise up over wintertime. Especially if you're in a warmer climate, I don't, I don't think you're going to have them in a colder climate. But in a warmer climate, you'll have them. They'll eat through the whole winter. And then in spring, uh, they'll just be fat and plump and ready to feed off to your chickens. Um, so anyways, that's a little tip from Home Farm Ideas. And uh, they'll break down grass, um, everything, manure. I mean, they just eat it all, too. So wood, you got some wood, they'll put... They'll, don't even break down wood so anyways god bless you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoy these videos peace thank you lord for what you're doing now thank you lord for it.